Hey, I'm Kimberly with the Fat Quarter Shop and I've got Bonnie and Camille with me and we're moving on to month eight in our Snapshots Quilt Along. This Quilt Along benefits the St. Jude Research Hospital and we're hoping that for this pattern you can donate just five dollars. Block eight is called Like Riding a Bike. I personally am not a bike rider, but I love this block. It's so intricate and so cute and there's nothing else out there like it. This is actually my favorite block in the whole quilt too. It's just so cute, that tiny little bike. I actually do have a tiny bike story though. Um, so my husband uh, likes to bet me that I can't do things. And I always have to prove him wrong and he knows that going into the bet. And so he bet me that I couldn't ride this little tiny bike that was my three year old bike. <laughs> And so of course I did and I have the picture to prove it, but um, I think that was probably the last time I was on a bike for a little while. It, it, was, it was pretty funny, so. So let's go sew this block and when you're sewing, think about Camille. Download the snapshots pattern at the Fat Quarter Shop. Cut your fabrics and label them with your alpha bitties. Use our full color 2000 since it matches the day sale fabric perfectly. Sew with a quarter inch seam allowance and press according to the pattern. We're gonna start with our handle unit. You're gonna assemble one fabric T rectangle and a fabric AC rectangle and press. Then add your fabric H rectangle and press. Then add your fabric G rectangle. You're gonna make one. In this step, we'll be making corner squares and we'll be using this technique throughout the quilt. Draw a line on the wrong side of the fabric six square from corner to corner. Use a friction pin because the ink will disappear with heat later. Place the fabric six square on the bottom end of your fabric C square. Stitch directly on the line and trim a quarter inch away from the line using your Creative Grids ruler and press. You're gonna make one. Then you're gonna add a fabric M square using the same corner square technique and we're gonna be making one top handlebar unit. And now we're gonna make some T tiny half square triangles. Take your fabric end squares and draw a line a quarter inch away from the center on both sides. Place your fabric end square with a fabric AD square. Place the fabrics right sides together. Stitch directly on your lines and cut in the center. You're gonna make eight red half square triangle units. Then you're gonna do the same thing with your fabric N and fabric Z squares and you're gonna make eight aqua half square triangles. And now we're gonna make pinwheel units from our half square triangles. You're gonna lay out your half square triangles. You're gonna sew these together and these together and press. Then you're gonna sew this seam together. We're gonna to make two red pinwheel units and two aqua pinwheel units. Now you're gonna use one red pinwheel unit and two aqua pinwheel units and three fabric K squares to make one complete pinwheel unit. Then you're gonna assemble one red pinwheel unit and a fabric L square to make a right pinwheel unit. You're gonna make one and make one. Sew together your previously made units and a fabric S rectangle to make your top bike unit. To make your basket unit, you're gonna use a fabric U corner square on a fabric one rectangle, stitch on the line, press, and we're gonna make one. Mark a dot two inches over from the bottom left corner on the wrong side of the fabric seven rectangle. Draw a line from the top left corner to the dot. Place the fabric seven rectangle on a fabric I rectangle and press. Then you're gonna take this unit and add a fabric zero rectangle and press. Then add a fabric E corner square and press. You're gonna make one bottom handlebar unit. Take three previously made units and make one. Now we're gonna make our bike seat unit. Take a fabric R rectangle, mark a dot one and a half inches up from the bottom right corner and draw a line. Place your fabric R rectangle on a fabric AA rectangle, stitch and press. You're gonna take this unit and add a fabric X corner square to make this. We're gonna add this unit to a fabric Q rectangle to make one complete bike seat unit. We're moving right along. We're gonna take a fabric A square, 
and draw a line from corner to corner. Place your fabric A and fabric 5 squares right sides together, stitch directly on the line, and you have one half square triangle. You're going to add a fabric B corner stone and press. Keeping the direction the same way, we're going to add a fabric 9 rectangle and press, and then a fabric 8 rectangle and press. Now we're going to add a fabric AB rectangle and a fabric J rectangle, press. Then add a fabric W and fabric D rectangle and press. And then you're going to take the two units we just made and add a fabric V rectangle to make your middle bike unit. And now we're going to make our wheels. Add fabric two squares to a fabric Y square and press. Then you're going to add two fabric four rectangles and press and two fabric three rectangles and press. Make two. Add fabric F squares to your previously made unit and we're going to make two. Assemble two previously made units for the bike wheel spoke unit and assemble two previously made units for the right bike unit. We're going to make one of each. Assemble two previously made units with a fabric O rectangle to make your left bike unit. Now we're almost done. This block is so cute, you're going to assemble these two units, press, and add your last unit, and you're done! Thanks for watching. Be sure to come back next month on the 15th for another new quilt block. And please donate. We can make a difference in the lives of the children and families of St. Jude. As you share your blogs, don't forget to hashtag FQS snapshots.